We're going to talk about this stuff today. A thousand contenders that I'm custom painting. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff today. We're going to talk about shows, talk about decals, more contenders. Hey, more contenders. Contenders that need to have the hooks come off of them. Contenders that are up for painting next. So where are we with all this project? So it's a thousand that's going back to Ketchco in four colorways. The two bottom boxes are done. Uh, that one's done. The rest of these are on deck. Going to the third show in a month. This is a local show. This is for Cartersville. It's the NOE Outdoors show. So this stuff is going, oh, you could have left that on. That was fine. These patterns are going to, as long as, so here's the thing with music. Yep. As long as I'm talking through it, the algorithm stuff can't pick up what it is. Oh. So we can go ahead and thug away yeah, on a Wednesday tough. morning. Happy hump day, everybody. That's <laughs> Tyler. He's on the tank. He's tuning. In case you guys didn't know stuff about Bullshad, we have cruddy tanks. No, I'm just kidding. It needs to be clean, but we use it a lot. But Tyler and the crew and Mike tune every single glide that goes out of this. Hey, that's a cool color. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> that's bad. That sucks. That color sucks, Jen. That's uh, one of my new shad patterns. So he is tuning it to make sure that it swims right before it goes to editing. Magical. We can do that later. No, we, uh, we tune them to make sure that it's good to go before you guys ever get them and that's every single one beautiful wide glide there you go upstairs going upstairs to the clear coat room show you what i've got going on up there it's dark but it's warm don't need to turn that on that is incredibly loud and it sucks the life out of the building but we don't need that right now so here's what's going on up here the next 150 pieces are up here clear coating this is the trophy trout so pretty loving these patterns that i'm doing it's been a longer process than anticipated because uh, with Tyler and Jess now having their own little baby Bullshad, uh, Tyler, general manager here at Bullshad, is a brand new father for the first time. So please help me congratulate them in bringing their own baby Bullshad to the world. He is our mascot. His name is Jake. And I'm not going to give you pictures of him today, although he is adorable. That's um, the parents aren't quite ready. Cobra Koi. Whew. Getting a workout this morning. So, just show you real quick what this looks like clear coated. Really, really good spring color. This is the Dead Eye Jack or Bone Belly Carp, and we're calling them Dead Eye Jacks because I put those, you know, when a fish gets a, a dead eye or a blind eye. And it just seemed to go really well with the color pattern in this bait. So these are on Guggen Squad Contenders. Thank you, Guggen Squad. Thank you, Ketchco, for the opportunity to paint a ton of these, and I do mean a metric ton of baits. The chrome is unreal on these. Beautiful flash. Just, just a gorgeous. I'm, I'm happy with them. Some of the coolest patterns that I've been able to come up with. That process is not an easy one. So not only do I have to come up with patterns that we hope kick ass that you guys love, but they also have to be patterns that are not coming out in other baits that Ketchco and Guggen Squad have. Other patterns, other colors. Like I couldn't do a red red like the Rayburn's Revenge we did on the colorways for um, the Baby Bullshad last year when I brought those out. Because there may or may not be other baits that are coming out that have the same color scheme. So we had to keep away from that. 
So this is that iSlide 262 tarpon that I have repainted. This is gonna have um, one more, maybe two more layers of clear coat. It's got four on it already. So it's super thick, super shiny. I did some really cool gill detail on this. And they just wanted a standard shad pattern. So that's what we got going on up in the clear coat room. How's it look, Ty? Way better. Awesome. Way better. So he makes sure that these things are tuned and dialed in. That looks good. Way better. As Fanef would say, creamy dreamy. <laughs> creamy dreamy. Creamy dreamy. Ooh, nice burn. So these are the patterns that are gonna be in crankbait form coming to Cartersville, Georgia this weekend. I don't know why I'm not focusing. Focus, Jen, focus. Look at all that. Everybody's like, what's the glitter in that? Hey, a girl's gotta have some secrets, right? Come on now. Hey, there it is. Okay, so a little foil undertone throughout the bait. You can kind of see that gold. It's really, really good in natural light. I did a little tease yesterday on socials for sunlight, natural sunlight, but you guys can see all the shimmer in this bait. And uh, at some point later, I'll probably get, tell you guys what it is. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Um, it, was, it was a gift to me that I was allowed to learn the knowledge behind this insane flash on here. So I really don't wanna burn that relationship. There are some things in the industry that stay private, but most of the things I can tell you guys. So these are the bluegill that are going out. Mike Cherry, thank you for noting that they were super clean. Look at that gold underneath. When this goes through the water, that's gonna really transfer into the shimmer that you want under the purples and greens that you would find in a bluegill. This is not orange, by the way. There's nothing orange in the belly of this bait. This, I can tell you, is a sienna brown. And it just has that gorgeous look of the orange, but it's not orange at all. We get back into the room, I'll show you the color that I'm using. I think it's sienna, burnt sienna. And then I've got these. I've got a few of these going out. This is my red for the spring. I do love lipless in the spring. Run them over beds, run them shallow. If you're beating the banks or if you're in a kayak, throw into the bank and coming back. So I just did a little orange and fire yellow on the craw. And then we've got shed. Didn't do the glitter on this. I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible. But again, and these, so these colors for Georgia, this is a local show that I'm doing and Mike is gracious enough to allow me to do some crankbaits just to kind of re-identify who I am and where I came from before I was with Bullshad and collabing with Ketchco. So um, he's like, hey, why don't we got a double booth this year? Why don't you do some crankbaits as well and show Georgia who you are? So I thought that was very gracious and cool. And thank you, Mike and Bullshad for Thank you for the opportunities you guys continually give me. I definitely would not be where I am if not for Bullshad at this point. There's no denying that. Um, but as Mike always reminds me, I earned the slot here through my paint. And I hope that that transpires to you guys. I hope it helps you catch more fish. I hope that I'm still able to teach you guys some things. Transference of color. Uh, started seeing these defined lines guys like daniel and tj and bill barton and tk stanley and um seems like everybody's doing these transitional lines the difference like i don't use any true blacks in my work except for if i'm doing a kill dot i did do black for that that's an opaque but all of this is just natural color that gets darker in layers and then that gold comes through on there. So I can teach you guys that stuff. I still love to teach you guys. I just don't seem to have the time to be able to do it. But that's what we got for this weekend in Cartersville, the NOE Outdoors show. 
it is going to be Friday from 3 to 7, Saturday from 9 to 7, I think, and then Sunday from 9 to 5. Mike hates me to show this part, but actually the offices aren't bad. My desk, his desk. He always has a messier desk, but he's into a lot more mischief than me. World champions, baby. Go Braves. Chop. This is why we don't really show our storefront because it doesn't look like a storefront this time of year. Um, we are transitioning between rifle cases when we travel and the local boxes when we are home for shows. Um, we're stoked to have a home show because we don't really get the opportunity to do that. We always have conflicting schedules and we love coming out and supporting the community. We love coming out and supporting North Georgia. We are all about all of the home locals. So you guys make sure you see us support NOE, support Bullshad and Jekyll Bates. And I'm going to keep getting what I got. We're going to have baby Bullshads and baby Bullgills there. We're going to pull some of this stuff down. Lots of burritos. Um, we're just, again, we're packaging and we're transitioning. And we're taking it to the convention center in Cartersville. There's going to be an address below. If you guys are local or within traveling distance, you guys want to see there's nothing up there because it's all show only in cases. But if you guys want to come out, check it out this weekend. We would love to see you. Come and say hi. Let's talk swim baits. Let's talk paint. Let's talk all things bass fishing in North Georgia and thereabouts. And we'll see you at the show. Oh. Back to business, y'all. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. And I'll see you this weekend at NOE Outdoors Fishing Expo, Cartersville, Georgia. It's true. It's true. Don't, don't hate me because I'm sitting on the shirt. I got this second hand. So brakes on a headrest anywhere. And it's like hands down the most comfortable chair that I've sat in. It's, it's second hand. It's from our auto guy who's through this wall next door, who is also awesome. I know. It's just something I... It's, tell me I'm wrong. Change my mind. Fishing is important to her. See ya. <laughs>